Hello friends, welcome back once again to Maths Class and the Secret of Doing the Multiplication Without Using Tables Part 2. How do we do that? Of course, with the help of the horizontal lines and the vertical lines. And here we are. These are the horizontal lines, my friends. With the help of these horizontal lines and the vertical lines. And our vertical lines look like these. Oh, lovely vertical lines we have. So, let's get started. Are you ready? Yeah, we are. Okay, let's see. Multiplication. Today we have taken a bigger number. Okay, 45 multiplied by 6. What is the answer? Now here, friends, we should know some terms related to multiplication. Here, 45 is called the multiplicand. And the number by which we multiply, that is the tables, is called the multiplier. And the answer is called the product. Please remember, for 45 or the multiplicand, we have to use the horizontal lines. And for the multiplier or the times table, we have to use the vertical lines. Oh yes, these are the most important secrets. The multiplicand, we use the horizontal lines and the multiplier we use the vertical lines now straight away let us go into the sum 45 multiplied by 6 what is the answer as we have discussed for the first number or the multiplicand we are going to use horizontal lines so 45 we have to take the first digit of 45 that is 4 so we are going to take 4 horizontal lines 1 2 3 4 and then leave a little bit gap and then we go for the next one. 5 means 5 horizontal lines. Here we are. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. For the times table or the multiplier, we need to use the vertical lines. And here 6. So we have to take 6 vertical lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now let us experience the magic of these horizontal and vertical lines. What are we going to do with them? Now let us see here. So 45 multiplied by 6. 4 horizontal lines and 5 horizontal lines. Now next we go for the multiplier or the times table. That is 6 in this case. So 6 vertical lines. 3, 4, 5 and 6. Yes friends. You must be very careful how you draw your horizontal and vertical lines. You must draw them very neatly so that the point of intersection between the red and the black lines are very very clear. Now friends you can see that there are two areas or two places where the black and the red lines meet. We are going to count them but first we have to count the point of intersection of the lower circle first okay lower circle first let's do it let's do together friends one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty so we have here thirty points of intersection now let's go to the upper circle and count the points where the red and the black lines meet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 and 24. So 24. Okay, we have 24 here. Okay, now let's arrange these numbers 24 and 30 and reach our desired answer. For 30, we have to carry 3 on top and then write 0 at the bottom. Now let's move to the upper circle. We have there 24. We counted 24. Now this 24 we next we have to add the 3 that we have carried over which is going to give us 27. Is this our final answer? 2, 7 and 0? Yes, the answer is 2, 7, 0. And now let us go to a sum with a bigger number where without the use of bigger times table we can solve the problem simply by the same method. Okay, Now 7, 8, 6 is our very big number multiplied by 9 where here without the use of table 6, 7, 8 and 9 we are going to do the sum. The first number 7, 8, 6. 
for 786 we take the first digit for that 7 draw 7 horizontal lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 then leave a gap for the next number 8 we draw 8 horizontal lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 then we leave a gap again and we go to the next digit that is 6 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now for multiplier 9 we have to draw 9 vertical lines we go here mm, so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 9 vertical lines okay now we can see here there are three areas where the red lines are meeting with the black line start counting from the lower grid 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 and 54 so we have 54 places where the red lines meet with the black lines now move to the upper grid okay here we go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 7 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 and 72 so here we have 72 points places where the black and the red lines meet okay now we move to the uppermost layer okay let us start counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62 and 63. So here we have 63 points of intersection. So we write here 63. The next step is to rearrange these numbers to get our answer okay we are very very close to the answer now moving from the lowest grid to the uppermost grid okay the lowest most grid we have 54 and then comes 72 and in the uppermost grid we have 63 54 we carry over 5 and write 4 down there the 5 that we have carried over we have to add it to the number of the second grid and that number is 72 now the 72 we add the 5 okay which will give us 77 yes 77 the first digit of the 77 we have to carry over so we put up 7 there and then write 7 down okay and this 7 will be again uh, be added to the number of the third grid which is 63 so we go here 63 plus the 7 we carried over which will give us the next number okay so 70 so now we got on the uppermost layer 70 and then middle grid 7 and the lowest grid we got 4 so now we have 7074 and that's the answer 7074 so easy it is